All right, so we're going to show you some of the best player builds and some of the builds that I'm using. Any that I'm going to change, starting from our starting 11 here. We're still messing around with our starting 11. Gameplay's been a bit weird today, so obviously we're going to be doing this with a lot of, lot of kind of still experimenting on it. But basic back four, you've got your, fr uh, your front two with Hullet up front. We're testing him out. But I'm going to just show you all the builds here of maybe 50 players and go through it quick. There's check. So you've got 1 into Ariel, 9 into Goalkeeper 1, Goalkeeper 2 is 10 and Goalkeeper 3 is 12. That's going to give you 95 plus on Awareness, Catching and Reflexes maxed out at 99. Doesn't really need Jump, any tall keeper doesn't really need Jump. Carlos is down as our main attacking option to bring the ball forward, to cross the ball in, to dribble and obviously to be manually defending with him as well. There's his stats and this is his build, 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, 1, 8. Only 8 into defending to get 85 aggression. You've got Saliba, a big card that a lot of people are continuing to use. One big thing with the centre-backs, I think with the gameplay at the moment, it'll probably change for eFootball25 or the next update. Speed at 85 is more than enough for any build-up CB or any non-destroyer CB that I've personally found. There's no real difference. All the players are still able to catch up with the main fast players. There's his stats. There's the build. 2 0 6, 13. You can throw on a couple of different play style or a different player skills if you want to. Same with a destroyer. So we don't have any speed on Ruben Diaz here. We just maxed out his defensive capabilities. But this only has a couple of levels. It's only 21 levels. So a better example of a destroyer would probably be somebody like Maldini. Who's going to have that 85 speed and maxed out defensive capabilities as well. So there's two destroyers there. Where we're going to have 10 into lower body. 6 into area strength and 12 into defending. With 2 into goalkeeper. 1 for jumping. And that's going to give us 90 jumping, all 95 plus with the defense and 85 plus with the speed, 75 stamina, 84 physical contact, 85 heading, pretty decent. Bergomi is going to be really playing as kind of like a defensive right back or a center back hybrid, 90 speed. Now I'll slightly change this uh, Bergomi here because I don't think that we need as much speed. But if I was going to change it, I'm probably only going to put a two into acceleration. There isn't really much point, like you could change it a little bit. And make his physical contact a little bit better. You're not going to improve the tackling too much. So you could do that if you wanted to. But to be honest with you. 15 into defending is probably where you're going to end up anyway. Um, maybe if you wanted to go 16 into defending. You could go that route as well. A little bit more into aerial strength. The speed and the dexterity are going to take up the rest of it. You could go that route as well if you wanted 90 speed. I don't think you need 90 speed. But that's a maxed out tackling and maxed out defensive engagement. With heading, jumping and physical contact. I would potentially go with this build here. So instead of 7, 7, 4, 16, I would probably go with like 3 into this. I would go to dexterity. I would probably go 80 with that, maybe 85. And then I'm probably going to go 16 still into this, but I'm probably going to throw up his strength a little bit more, his physical contact a little bit more, just to get the jumping up and all that sort of stuff. And then we can go with the acceleration a little bit more and the passing or the dribbling if you want it. You're not going to need that because he's going to be like a third man CB. 85 speed, 84 acceleration, 80 physical contact, 85 stamina, 99 defensive and tackling, 96 aggression and defensive awareness. Very, very solid. Zakaria, a lot of people using this card now. Again, he's a 90 speed build. If you don't want a 90 speed build, you could use right card, who I have here as well. They're both very similar cards. We'll get through a few of these instead. But these are similar cards, except that right card is the 85 speed. So you can do that and adjust accordingly. But if you want more tackling into the speed, you are going to have to go about maybe 5 into his lower body. But that is the build that we've gone for there. And then Vieira. This is probably the best build for Vieira. Because you're maxing out his tackling, you're getting his aggression over 95. And you're getting the physical contact and stamina maxed out while still having good tight possession. And defensive awareness at 88. But that's going to take a big amount of points into defending and lower body. And that is the ultimate build there for Vieira. Sun, it's all about just getting as much as you possibly can into the 90s. A fairly st standard build. Unless you're going to be using him a little bit differently. I don't think you need much more than that. 14, 14, 5. 90 finishing and curl, 90 speed. Some people have said 95 uh, finishing curler or finishing on him and 95 curl is going to be better. I don't think you need a blitz curler is blitz curler. Um, Nedved, very solid kind of hole player. We're playing him on the right this time, but he's better as an AMF if you can afford to do that. 2, 5, 11, 9, 9, 1, 4. And then our top two buys up front. 85 speed Griezmann with 90 acceleration. The rest of his stats are going to be pretty solid. But from here, if you decide that you want to put this build here, it just depends on whether you want to get him to go 90 or to go 90 finishing with a bit more dexterity, which is what I would potentially go with him. You don't need passing on him, but we top four into that. 
that's 91 finishing 93 acceleration you don't have the balance at 90 but you can get that to 90 if you want with a little bit of alteration and then a center forward specific hullet i will show a different build of hullet here in a second but 707296 and one into goalkeeper one for the jumping is going to give you this beast up front but at the moment the crossing in the game is just completely busted in my personal opinion um for the reserves here we've got messi 100 acceleration as a roman flank these are without the boost obviously but we'll get it 1 1 10 1 11 11 um you also have this messi which is the freebie don't need much speed or stamina it's all about acceleration balance whatever 4 3 8 11 10 6 and then the other messi that you have here is the old school messi or else the ambassador pack messi it's pretty much going to be the same for all of these messi cards once you have the dribbling and the tight possession and the balance and the acceleration all up into the 90s, you're going to be okay with that. Dennis Law, 83 speed. Obviously, when you bring him into the squad, you're going to be getting the boost to that, 85, 85 speed with 96 plus acceleration. Finishing at 92, 101 attack and awareness. That's going to be very, very solid. And then, of course, Van Basten. It's going to be similar. You're going to be getting the boost to all of these when you bring him into the main squad. That's going to go from 87 to 90 with Pep Guardiola. Acceleration at 91, balance is going to be a bit of a killer on him. But that is going to be the card, 7031296. And then the rest of the reserves that I have here, there's lots of cards that you can train up. But essentially, you're going to be getting the plus three to every stat on the speed here with Pep Guardiola. So that's going to be a 90 build there for him. And of course, you will have 848126. Uh, if you want to go Cantona, not that I'd recommend playing him, you're going to have a 90 acceleration build Cantona here, which is pretty decent, 11041191. And then we also have Mbappe. So a lot of people ask me about this Mbappe card. I definitely think he's a beast. I haven't used that him that much. 4, 4, 10, 9, 11. I think the key with Mbappe with this build is to have 90 and everything. Tight possession, dribbling, finishing, and balance all over 90 with the acceleration. I think, honestly, it's all about giving him the kind of different additional skills. You need one touch pass on him, which we haven't unlocked yet. So that's kind of roughly a different couple of builds there of the reserves um we also have Saliba we've already covered him it's pretty much the same build David Villa all you need to focus on on any of these players is to get their balance type possession and acceleration up over 90 that's all you need to do Davids Stevie G any of those guys are going to be similar right there you go with these builds here a couple of these builds I'm still testing out but they will definitely work for you with the current gameplay because the current gameplay at the moment is a bit crazy to be honest uh who else do we have Stevie G Stevie G is going to get a nice boost with the manager when you bring him in if you're playing him as this role. Very, very solid all rounder. Uh, 3 8 9 9 or 3 9 8 8 8 triple 8 uh, for that build there. The rest of the players that we have on our bench, like Romario, there is a new Romario out, but that's the build we've gone for there with him. You don't need to upgrade to the new Romario if you're not. Uh, you know, if you're beasting with this Romario, you don't need a new Romario. If you've never got Romario, get the new one if you can afford it. He's a beast. Very, very solid build there. One of my favorite players. And then we also have, where am I going? We also have Kimmich, Beckenbauer. A lot of people ask me about Beckenbauer. Again, 85 speed with 90 defensive engagement is the key on this guy. 3 8 one, 16 into defending. Um, we also have Ambrosini. I'll just go through these very, very quickly without really talking about them. You can pause the video at any stage. Kimmich, these are like the 85 speed for defensive players seems to be more than enough now. Um, obviously we're still testing it out 101 acceleration Michael Owen don't need much more into finishing it's all about dribbling and dexterity and then Ruben Diaz with this we already covered him Baggio is Baggio better than Platini they're both very very similar I'll show you here in a second um, this Maradona the freebie Maradona Seven five six twelve nine one. I will say one thing. If you're playing Maradona in a more central role, it's a slightly different build. But if you're playing him here as an SS, that's probably the build to go for. You need more finishing. Um, this is a more of an attacking midfielder build, this Maradona build that you saw there. And then Platini. So this Platini will end with this. This Platini here versus Baggio. They're very similar cards, if you look at them there. Very similar stats. You can pause the video here at any stage. But this Platini, we just don't have 90 speed in him. But he is a beast. So that's it, man. That is it for a lot of players. If anyone else will do a part two with this video.